and to, today topic is shapes of molecules molecules are is are extremely small in size they cannot be seen with naked eye scientists are able to determine the size and shape of molecule from experiments and analysis these experiments show that the shape of molecules are linear triangular uh, tetrahedral pyramidal or any other shape for example the molecular shape of carbon dioxide is linear the water molecule is angular fb bf3 has triangular flanger ch4 is tetrahedral and nh3 is triangular pyramidal intermolecular forces intermolecular forces are the weaker forces of attraction it is 25 times weaker than the covalent bond for example in h2o its molecular bond is weak how to in another topic is properties of metal atoms of metals are held together by special type of bond called metallic bond properties of the metal result from this type of bonding are listed below one all metals are solid at room temperature and pressure except mercury metals are mm, malleable they can be beaten into sheets and foils metals are ductile they can be drawn into wires as shown in the figure metals are good conductors of heat and electricity metals are lustrous they have shiny surface metals are sonorous they produce specific ringing sounds when struck so the in the topic is experimental verification of boils boils law the apparatus used for the experimental verification of boils law as shown a certain mass of gas is enclosed in the cylindrical the volume of the gas is changed by increasing and decreasing the pressure the volume at various pressures is noted in each case the, pro the product of pressure and volume remains constant at constant temperature and and is found according to the boyle's law graphic representation if we float the value of pressure v and volume v curl line is obtained which showed that the volume is inversely proportional to the pressure charles law in 1787 charles gave a relationship between volume and temperature of a gas had constant pressure and formulated a law known as charles law this law stated the volume of a given mass of a gas is directly proportional to its solute temperature at constant pressure so we can use these all types of experiments and topics to continue the study